So a pretty more relaxed episode of Tales of Zestaria the X this week. I must say, a pretty more relaxed one because this one didn't have as much action until the very end once the Helion actually appears and actually kind of attacks the village and actually kind of almost kills that one villager. I must say, it was still very freaking interesting. The main thing I really do get from it is a very interesting episode overall because we got to see how Sore's village actually lives and how they kind of don't like humans coming into their village because they believe calamity ensues if they actually bring him into the village, which is not kind of far from the truth because once Alicia actually leaves the village, the actual Helion attacks one of the villagers and actually kind of invades the village. So we kind of understand that yes, the Helion is after Alicia, which then kind of sends our two protagonists into gear to actually go and kind of find her again because they believe she's actually in trouble but still the rest of this episode really kind of focused on the whole entire idea of Alicia trying to gain their help to the Seraphims because she believes with their help she actually can save the world because she actually kind of cries out she cries look I need your help because if, if you don't help me actual wally plunge into darkness so i believe with your help we can actually save the world but her cries are not answered the seraphims don't actually answer her after that point she actually is allowed to stay until she actually's ready to leave but it's this whole entire idea that she doesn't really believe what she's believed at this point after that whole entire ordeal inside the ruins when Sore actually tells her look i'm not an actual shepherd there's actually no shepherd here and then when she actually Ask the Seraphim to help, that she didn't answer her. So, after that point, she it kind of sends her into this pit of despair that what she believed is not true, what she believed is actually just a fairy tale. But Sore is still there to actually tell her, Look, no, don't worry about it. It's, it's not a fairy tale. What you believe is true because one day the shepherd will appear. But she's kind of always stuck in this despair that, Look, it's just, it's just a fairy tale. But the other thing to note is how throughout this whole entire episode, once she kind of doesn't believe the Seraphims exist, she actually kind of feels the presence of the grandpa kind of in the distance. Like, in essence, she doesn't know he's there, but she always says to Soraya, I actually feel like someone's watching me. So you, you can actually see as the episode grows, she actually begins to notice them. In the end, once she actually leaves the village, she actually does apologize for actually not noticing them there, but she actually does say, look, I actually do feel like they're there. They're all around me. So I was like, okay. So it's actually pretty interesting. Once the Helion actually appeared and actually attacked the village, that's when it kind of got even more interesting. It, got, it kind of turned into a UFO table anime. It kind of looked fantastic. That whole entire fight, oh freaking god. It looked pretty freaking swell and I really did like it. You actually get to see how Sora fights. And he's pretty freaking good. In essence, when I played the game, my first fight with him, I was like, well, oh, he's alright. In this fight, he was just doing flashy ass moves. I was like, I don't remember this in the video game, but maybe because it's not a video game, it's actually an anime, so it's going to be very much different. He's actually going to learn all these things by now. As the anime grows, he actually will grow as well as a swordsman as well. So I thought, okay. But really, it was a pretty interesting episode overall because it really does send our actual protagonist into gear to actually go and find Alicia because they believe she's in trouble. Because what happens is, Sora is actually kind of sitting down after the whole entire fight and he kind of goes, wait. What he said to me kind of struck me. And he, what happens is that Helion actually says, oh, don't get in the way of my main course. And he's like, fracking hell, they're after her, aren't they? And so it kind of sends him to Gid actually go and find her, leave the village. As he's leaving, the kid actually appears and basically says, look, okay, there's actually something going down with her character because we actually, I actually found out that she's not just a knight. She's more than just a knight. She might be royalty. And then they actually kind of go and find her. Which now sends into Gears' whole entire anime. Now we start the adventure. actual grandiose adventure that actual game's actually known for. And hopefully the anime actually delivers on this adventure. Hopefully the characters we actually encounter are freaking interesting. And overall, what can I really say about this episode? It's actually really freaking interesting. I like the adaptation so far. It's better than I expected. It's the main thing I really do get from it. UFO table have surprised me, so I actually quite like them overall. So yes, with all that said, I have been the driver. If you have enjoyed the video as a whole, and you do want to leave a like, do leave a like, because it does indeed help me quite a little tiny bit. If you want to leave a sub, because you have enjoyed my content, leave a sub, because that does help me quite a bit. But with all that said, I've been the driver, and I shall see you guys later.